What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. This is Eric, and today we got to talk quickly about Trevor Bauer. Again, this is not going to be a super long video, but Trevor Bauer has come out with some evidence regarding another woman. When I first saw the headline, I thought it said Trevor Bauer charged with sexual assault, and I was like, what? Again? Now what? <laughs> but turns out one of his accusers is being charged for allegedly defrauding Trevor Bauer and another man, and he put out a video discussing this, showing evidence that that's what happened, talking about these other women who have accused him of sexual assault and why, obviously, they're just trying to get paid and that um, he's innocent. And that's what he talks about in this video. It's a five-minute clip. I'll put a link down below. I'm not going to play the whole video, but let's take a look a little bit at what Trevor Bauer had to say. One of the women who accused me of sexual assault just got indicted for committing felony fraud against me. Imagine that. Now, let me catch up to speed. In the last three years, two women have taken legal action against me. Uh, Lindsay Hill started all this, you may remember her from this video, as the girl who set me up and lied to the world in an attempt to take my money. Well today, the only other one, Darcy Adana Asimono, has been criminally indicted for committing felony fraud against me and another man. So now she's facing up to 16 years in prison. Her claims are even more absurd than Lindsay's were, so here's some of the details. We had one plain sexual encounter in December of 2020, nothing that could be considered remotely rough. Uh, she initiated it, but don't take my word for it, take hers. This is a picture and text message she sent me the next morning, explaining why she came on to me. And for months afterwards, she repeatedly requested to sleep with me again. Uh, for example, this text from January 7th, 2021. At one point, she even requested a sample of my sperm so she could have my child whenever she wanted to in the future. Now, it's hard to keep track, but she's made at least four seven-figure demands over the last few years. Uh, more than a year after the one time we slept together, and only after Lindsay Hill made up her false allegations, Adana retained a lawyer. Uh, she then demanded $3.6 million and claimed I forced her to have an abortion, leaving her emotionally devastated and irretrievably damaged by it. But uh, here's the thing, she never had an abortion because she was never even pregnant, and that's corroborated by her own medical records. When I refused to pay her the $3.6 million she was asking for, she made up a bogus sexual assault claim and filed a civil suit against me. So you can see he's breaking out text messages again that really do show that this girl apparently is trying to get paid. And he also later on shows some evidence that law firms would refuse to even take her case because she had no evidence. And in fact, there were evidence of the contrary that she was just trying to get paid. So... It is interesting, though, I think it has to be noted, like this doesn't happen to other Major League Baseball players, like clearly Trevor Bauer is making some poor decisions on the women he's deciding to sleep with. So I, I think he has touched on that, but that is also a concern for teams when we talk about why isn't he in Major League Baseball. It's not only the laundry list of controversies, which I've talked about, I detailed fully in a, a previous video, even if it's all bullshit. It's like, how are you getting yourself in this situation? Like, it's not happening to another player. So you got to make smarter decisions, first of all, innocent or not. It, it, what kind of decisions are you making to that this keeps happening and that you have to make videos like this and you have to defend yourself like this? So Trevor Bauer is clearly, I mean, he's got to make smarter decisions and he's got to somehow prove himself and convince a team that he's, he's matured and there's, there's not going to be any problems. Everyone seems to think it's just the sexual assault allegations. It's just, you know, he's innocent. He should play. It's a lot more than that. It really is. And I can understand why a general manager would be hesitant to sign him. I would ask him first thing, like, are you going to be vlogging everything that we do? Please don't bring the camera into the clubhouse. And, you know, like we're not doing a reality show here. So uh, we just need to go out and pitch, do your job. That's it. You can have your YouTube channel, of course, but I'm just saying teams are worried about a lot of things. So um, I can understand the hesitancy, but at the same time, if a team wanted to give him a chance, being that the evidence he shows here, it seems like these women have been coming after him for money. They're trying to extort him for money, but he does make some stupid decisions to put himself in these situations. So again, it's, I know he's got a ton of fans. A ton of people love this guy. A ton of people are like, you know, he should be an MLB in my opinion. If a team wants to sign him, he's completely eligible to be signed. I hope there's not some kind of collusion going on trying to blackball him because that would be bullshit. But we don't have any evidence of that. As of now, 30 teams are deciding not to sign him individually. But we'll see what happens. And, and if Trevor Bauer can eventually find his way back to Major League Baseball, what do you guys think? And let me know in that comment section down below. I'm kind of convinced that these women were trying to get paid and that Trevor Bauer probably never 
sexually assaulting anyone. Probably anything he did was consensual. That's what it seems like to me. But uh, at the same time, I, you know, people are like, where are you going to bat for Trevor Ryan? I'm not trying to go to bat for anybody. I'm just trying to tell you the facts as I see it. I'm also saying the dude is extremely controversial and a freaking loose cannon. And I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't sign him if I was a GM. Unless I was desperate for pitching and I sat down and had an interview with him and I was convinced that, that the guy's going to make smarter decisions going forward. That's the only way I would even consider it. But let me know what you guys think. Hit that thumbs up. Hit the subscribe. We'll talk to you next time.